Let's make a Lego mold. First, make a sketch rectangle on the canvas. Select it and extrude it. Now put the first stud on there with a sketch circle. Click on the work plane, then on the block. We need to draw a line and make the first click on the circle so that it and the line are on the same work plane. This is needed to use the pattern tool. See, when we click on the line, those directional arrows come out. We can type as many circles as we want and drag to place. The default number of rows is 3, so just click all the checks in the circles that you don't want. Hmm, the sketches are at the bottom of the block, so let's just flip it over. Hold the shift key down to select each circle, and you need to select the face, not just the edge. Then extrude them up together. Now shell it. And adjust the thickness of the shell. Well, there's our first mold, and now we need to copy it the same way that we copied the studs. Select the whole solid, select the pattern tool, and then you can click on an edge to bring up the directional arrows. The default of 3 is fine in this direction. Start pulling it down in that direction, and then click 2. Then you'll get 2 rows. Now sketch a base. It doesn't have to be the exact size needed because you can finesse it later. Select and flip all those molds over. Typing 180 is the quickest way to do that. Extrude this sketch up. Set it on orthographic to make placing it easier. We want to align the top of that base with the top of the molds. And it's clearly not wide enough, so we can just fix that with press pull. Well, let's finesse this edge, too. Now we need to split the molds from the base. 
use the split solid tool for that. Body to split is the base and splitting onto T is all the molds. Hold the shift key down to select them all. And click on the canvas to finish. Select them all again by holding the shift key down. Move them up and delete. And there's your mold.